Well, as parents, teachers, and lawmakers continue to debate the safety of sending kids back to the classroom, some schools aren't wasting any time getting their kids into virtual learning. Yeah, that presents, of course, its own set of challenges. You know this if you have kids. Not every family has access to the internet or a computer, and working parents will just have so much to juggle. Our Brittany Thomason spoke with a mom and a student who are, is preparing to go back to school virtually through the Chandler Unified School District. Will Lucas is going into his freshman year of high school. On the calendar right here, you see school starts virtually on Wednesday for him. He has this schedule all laid out, but he still doesn't quite know how school is going to look when he goes back on Wednesday. We have his mom right here, Trisha. Trisha, yes. what's it like being a mom? I know you're still working, yet you have your son here trying to work from home. What's that like for you? It is stressful, and it's the unknown, and we don't really know what it's going to look like or how it's going to work at this point. Um, we're just kind of trying to learn how to go with the flow and say that we can do it. We can do hard things and we're going to get through this. I know you said one of your biggest concerns is high school math. You're not sure you or your husband is, are going to be able to help him. Um, so what was your solution to that? Well, we were fortunate enough to be able to hire a tutor that is going to be here once a week. And we're hoping that that will be enough to get him through this time of the virtual online learning. What's your advice for parents um, that might be able to help them get through this? Um, I would say make sure you have a network of friends um, that have children maybe similar age to help support you and to bounce off questions. And um, I'm very fortunate to have lots of friends that do have children the same age. So we talk a lot. How's it working? What have you had to get? What, how are you going to do this? Um, we've also talked a little bit about doing some socialization groups and maybe once a week get together maybe five kids that will help with the socialization because the connection is going to be crucial for our children for their growth and development. And this work area, I know this is a spare bedroom and you actually had to turn this into a little office area for your son to do his work. This has been really expensive for a lot of parents. How much money went into this? I would say probably in all about $1,500. Um, a big chunk of it was a computer. We had to get a new computer um, to, for him to be able to work virtually. And then we did have to buy the desk um, because we converted our guest room into um, the, the learning room. So totally I would say about $1,500. And I can't imagine how much it would be for families that have four or five students that are going to have to learn from home and have to have computers and all the resources to um, keep them learning. Thankfully, every district that I've talked to so far, they're giving out free computers to students just to borrow while they do their schoolwork. And when I was talking to Trisha's son, Will, earlier, he was saying one bright side positive thing about all this is he could do his schoolwork from another location if they wanted to go camping um, or do some type of social distancing vacation. In Chandler, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.